Every student is um, so unique, so it's hard to have any expectation of what I want the students to achieve. Um, of course, I want them to be great teachers. Everybody learns so differently. And from the, the very beginning, I have the students actually teaching different aspects of the course, from the therapeutics to the um, asanas themselves and the anatomy and the philosophy. The students that have finished this training, most of them now are doing extremely well. Um, I have some of the um, students working in New York City themselves. Torre de la Oradada is a small beach town in the south of Spain. I thought it was a great place to set up a teacher training because I've been on different teacher trainings where you're usually kind of stuck to the retreat space and here the students are always so surprised with the big open beaches where they get to reflect on the things that they're learning on the course and there's loads of walking places. They also can go to local restaurants, coffee shops to do some study. The weather is Mediterranean, I love yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, so it's fantastic. It's small and homey and it's got character. Um, and we're right next to the ocean, which I just love, love, yeah. love, love. Can hear it out my window every night to go to sleep. It's amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful beach. We've had a really lovely time here. It's just a, it's a sleepy town, but I think that's exactly what we want for this, um, this month. It really leaves time for you to study. On this course, we tend to delve deep into the anatomy and the biomechanics of the body. Um, I want yoga to be seen as a valuable body work, just like physio, chiropractic, and other type of therapies. Working for many years in New York, I realized that if you don't know a lot about anatomy, how you can hurt people, and you can't start to help people internally with their mind and their emotional state if their bodies are not well. So I want my teachers coming off this training to really be able to look after people. We have very experienced teachers. I, I, I make sure that they've been teaching at least 10 years or more. It's a whole new standard for yoga teachers as well. It's a, Amanda is set at the bar really high and the class standard is just, it's excellent. We all have a lot of time with Amanda personally, and we have a lot of time teaching. Like, yeah. you know, our, we spent many hours teaching each other, teaching practice classes, helping out in her classes. This training was so much more in depth, especially when it came to the physical part, the anatomy, um, understanding how the body works, and um, at a deeper level, that just made me feel, makes me feel more confident moving forward as a teacher that I'm not gonna, you know, be unprepared when I'm teaching my students. Because you kind of have a responsibility as a teacher to keep your students safe and to make sure that nobody's going to hurt themselves and to have um, this training, I really feel confident going forward that I can do that for my students. And I think that that's really important. And um, this is definitely not a yoga holiday. Of course, it's a beautiful place to come, but uh, the students are probably so surprised with how much they have to learn. I like seeing this process at the beginning. They panic and they think it's impossible, but as we go along and they start to learn tools and theories and ideas, something clicks in them. You can see how empowered they feel to have this knowledge and be able to pass it off. They're so excited to get back home and to share their knowledge with other people. Um, yeah, we, I like the students to see different aspects of yoga, like we do paddleboard yoga, um, splash around, jump in the water on a hot day. We also do aqua yoga, um, we go on different hikes together. The food was amazing. They know how to cater to all different um, preferences from vegetarian, veganism, gluten-free. 
It was so nice to have food that was really nourishing us for our training, but also um, that was so delicious. And like every day I didn't feel like I was missing anything from home. I guess you would say my main concern is that I'm able to translate this into a simple, clear way so that everybody can understand.